So, it's time to get started. It's time to get started. Build update number one. And build update number one is usually start. So, I'm going to just turn the camera down to the bench and show you sort of kind of preparation for starting. In other words, make sure you have all your little bits and pieces there, nothing worse than starting, and then have to tear all things to look for this and tear all things to look for that. So a couple of basic little bits and pieces. You might know this. Most people know this already. But if you're only getting into the hobby, you may not. And you said, you said, right, what do I really need to build a kit? So, um, excuse the thing. I'll, I'll just turn that around and down to the bench. Okay. And these are your basics, okay? For me, that these are my basics, okay? Everybody varies, everybody differs. Right, first of all, you need your instructions. That's a bit obvious. Also, I use this, right? It's a little um, highlighting pen. So as I've done a piece, right, I can mark off like that, that I've done. So when you pick up your instructions, you know, oh, that's done already. It won't go into too much. It's obvious during, but very, very handy little thing to have. Highlighting pen. Okay. You need a sprue cutters. Okay. Now these are uh, pretty good ones. I got my hands on. They're Zurons. I got them from uh, from China on eBay. I think they cost me four quid, including delivery. Yep. So there we go. We need a set of them. Okay. We also need. Uh, a hobby knife, hobby knife of your choice, be it that type of hobby knife, um, the scalpel type, okay, um, I got a present of this, uh, one of my subscribers very very nicely here uh, gave me a present of this, okay, he sent me on that, and he also sent me on some uh, chocolates in the past, you know who you are, and uh, yeah, I, 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 I like using it, um, I kind of certain things I prefer using it for um, I don't like it for say scraping but I do like it for cutting okay very very neat very very neat for cutting especially when it comes to decals cutting off decals absolutely brilliant for that okay um, I'm blind as a bat right so I got these little things that clip onto my glasses and they give me an extra an extra magnification handy for small parts and you'll need some sanders okay a kind of a, a roughish one and a reasonably smooth one okay so you need your sanders and of course you'll need your cements i won't call them glues because they're not a glue um they're a cement they're uh, they're a chemical which basically melts the plastic and they melt the plastic together okay um i like using the tamiya ones okay there's three types you've got the white cap dark green and light green uh, and each one is for different things and I use them for different things okay the white cap is a slow setting glue so if you want to sort of put things in but you know you're going to sort of move it around um, or like with tracks and things where so you want to kind of glue it all and then you know fold them around not in this one but there are other occasions when you'll need the slow slow drying if you're extra thin which is my usual one I use for everything. It's the go-to cement. It's the one I use most of. And I go through bottles of this stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, that's your sort of uh, reasonably quick setting. You've got a little bit of time to work with it. And um, it does the job. And it's a good, nice, good, hot hot glue. Um, as in, it'll melt your pieces absolutely lovely. And make a good, solid, solid connection. Then you've got this one here, right? Which is the quick setting extra thin now I don't really use much of this and I don't use it really for something as a permanent fix if you know what I mean this is not the only one I'd use if I've got something where I need to kind of just put it in and just hold it and I want it held fast okay uh, just it's a flimsy piece I want it in there and I want it held because I got to it, it's going to be awkward to work on because you got to say maybe hold it in about three places then move your hand down and then put it down you know glue another spot i hold it in place with this stuff okay sets very very quick really really quick you want to be fair quick with that stuff right 
but it isn't it isn't really um a permanent fix it's very very it's still very pretty fragile after that so then once i have it in place with that i'll give a little it's a little blob of this stuff and that's then that's the permanent one so it's a kind of a, a temporary quick holder that's what i use that one for there's my main glue and there's my slow slow setting glue okay so now i'm ready to start okay so i just kind of have them to the side <coughs> We'd open it up. Get to step number one. Now I've already read through the instructions and I know that, yep, I want to do step one first. Get these out of the way. They're kind of little sub assemblies just to have them done because we move on to sort of the more sub assemblies here. When we move on to say our main chassis number three, we have all these the, the extra little sub assemblies that we've made earlier. We need all them to sort of start coming together. Okay, so step number one. We're building the engine. Um, that's one A and then the engine. One B I'm putting in the front first uh, the, the front wheels. Okay, with our uh, gearbox and all that kind of stuff in it. Um, our radiator. Our main drive wheels are here. Okay, so I'm gonna get go up and get that started. And uh, we'll see how much done I get done, how much I get done tonight and tomorrow. I'll show you what I've done, and uh, we'll kind of continue on then, like that, in in that vein. I'll do a bit in the evenings. And I'll show you then the following day. So I'll get started on it, and the next clip you'll see. Hopefully, at least that page done, <laughs> unless we get chatting about rubbish again tonight in the hangout. So. Right lads, as you can see from all my little green marks, okay, then I've got step one done. Okay. Don't have step two, that's coming up next, so step one. Step one is a lot of little uh, sub assemblies, okay. And they're lettered from A down to H, okay. So A A makes up the engine. Okay. And here we are. Here's our little engine all made up beautiful detail on the top i must say right we get a nice zoom in in that okay very very nice engine detail there and there so that's uh, a b is our front axle okay with the uh, little linkages and things we got that together okay um just a slight little bit of confusion with these pieces here okay these two side pieces all right as in the orientation then because it shows a little bit of a cut out there and a little bit of a cut out up there but if you do it exactly like that and go for the cutouts this piece is actually upside down and the hole isn't at the back so i had to kind of take off one and rearrange it so the hole there's a little hole here that these this part fits into that's at the back so once I arrange that up around and put it on it worked out grand so there's that piece okay also another little uh, what, tiny little mistake in the, uh, the instructions it shows the fan here on the front okay our fan and it shows it to put it in to that bottom one down there okay so i put it up against that and it didn't kind of didn't didn't really marry up to it pretty well but on the top one there's a little protrusion okay so i put it onto that and it's stuck onto it now it it, look, it fits on perfectly up there so i went down a bit and looked at the engine here to where you know a further step of the engine if you get my i mean when you're actually fitting this and there it was. It's on the top one. It isn't on the bottom one. Okay, so that was a mistake. It doesn't go on the bottom one. It goes onto the top one there, as you can see there from that. It goes onto the top piece, not the bottom one. Okay, so a little mistake, but sure. What the heck? We 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 we, we solved it anyway. Right. C gets up two parts of the radiator. Okay, quite simple. It's just marry up nicely 
Uh, D is the drive axle, the main drive axle. Okay. Hello, oh, Abs. Is Abs in? Oh, well, should we come in? I'm going off to bed and she's like, good night. So, right, there's our axle, our main drive axle. Okay, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little parts in that. Went together, no problems, no problems whatsoever with that one. Everything fitted in quite nicely indeed. Okay, so there's part D. E was our drive sprockets. Okay, there was two of them to be made. So I'll just pop them out. Our two drive sprockets. Okay, so it's just three parts and you end up like that. Okay, there's our little drive sprockets. All assembled. Okay, we have two of those. That's E. F is our main wheels, our front wheels. I do like the little uh, divot there on the bottom of the little bit of a, a flatness because it's got the uh, little bulge and all from where the weight goes on to it, so it's quite nice. Um, so there's our front wheels. Okay, D. It's just a piece to go into the back of that. Right, there's D, our front wheels, and we've got two of them. Okay, there we go. D, oh, sorry, our wheels F. G. Then we've got our um, our idler wheels. That's what it is. Okay, again, two pieces. We make up our idlers. Okay. One and two, two little idling wheels, and finally we've got these pieces here. And that's H. Now I'm only presuming, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm only, I'm only presuming that they will go on here to that, because the same shape. So if you look at that little shape, it's kind of a kind of a, a D shape to it and here it's got a D shape and they fit so let's say that they're they're for in there <laughs> by means of deduction shall we say I could go look further down the instructions and that will tell me anyway right so that's uh, step one done a um, little bit fiddly uh, one tiny little mistake in the instructions there with the um, with the fan it's always handy if a piece doesn't exactly fit just go double check look further down the instructions and see is that exactly how it's supposed to fit and it pays off so it paid off that time okay so we're on now to step number two in step number two we're building the bogies okay our two bogies our left and right bogey okay um, they seem to be pretty straightforward. Okay, they don't seem to have any major uh, problems with them. It does look a bit kind of intense, if you know what I mean. As in, there's an awful lot in there, but uh, we'll get through it. We'll have a look at them when it's all when it's all together, and then we'll be on down to step three, where we're starting to put things onto our main um, our main chassis okay so i get ahead with uh, step two and we'll have a look at it then when i finish step two all right just going to show you now here um i'm just about to start assembling the bogies okay i'm after getting a couple of little sub assemblies ready okay we've got the um the wheels okay they went together no problem we have two sets of them and now we're on to we've got this piece here okay see there that piece there facing that way and we've got this piece here which holds or we call it a little return roller along the top of it okay now if we go by the drawing, the way the drawing tells us, it's not that way, it's that way with our little flat piece. See it? Flat piece at one side and that at this side. 
right? And that slides into that. But it doesn't slide into it, okay? But if you turn it around that way, that slides perfectly in. There's the piece that goes onto it, alright? That fits over that little square piece perfectly and fits in. Absolutely perfect, like a doozy. So, is it a mistake in the drawing or am I doing it wrong? I don't know. Um, I have. I can't get it in that way. If I get it in that way, then this piece won't fit on right. Okay, but it will fit on right there. As you can see, it'll even stay on without be, without being glued. Right. So to me, that is the way to go on that because it, it, it looks right. Okay, it really does look right. Okay. Um, so I don't know. Now, another little thing. Both these are basically identical, but it's, it's giving you the numbers the odd way, the, the opposite way around. That's say piece number 32, and that's piece number 21. Okay. That's piece number 32. That's piece number 21. If you reverse them around the other way, okay, so you've got now we've got the 21 on this side and the thumper one on that side, they're still identical. So why doesn't it just say make two? Because they're both on the D sprue and you got two D sprues. Why doesn't it just say, there's the bogey, make two? No, they do it the awkward way around. So I'm going to make them the way I showed you anyway, the uh, with the piece in that way, and I'm going to make up two of them. Okay. All right. So here we have here we have our little bogey all made up. Okay, all twenty parts put together. Yep, twenty parts all put together, and it's nice. It works. It's lovely. It's a beautiful little piece of engineering. Okay, and yeah, I did say 20 parts, okay, and I've cut all the next pieces off the sprue, all the 20 parts, I've cut them off the sprue, and I've them all cleaned up, and there they are, they are laid out, okay, so you can see the size of them, there's my hand, okay, so there's all our 20 parts, there's our wheels, supports, appears to be kind of a brake type mechanism, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like that anyway. Okay, so we've got the same for that side. We have our front and back piece, a bottom piece, we've got springs and our little return rollers. So there's 20 parts there. So I'm going to build them up anyway, and we'll end up with our second of our bogies. Just thought I'd show you that. I found it quite interesting that there's 20 little parts in that, and it's nice. And there we go, finally. Step two is done, okay. All our two little bogies are made, okay. So I'm going to be reasonably careful with them because I don't want them to go off kilter as they're drying. Nothing worse than when you put it down, then they're up at the sides. So it's be very careful as to uh, make sure that your bogies are on a flat surface and lying flat. So that way, then, when you are putting it all together and the bogies in under the tracks, that they'll fit in and they'll, they'll, they'll sit down nicely on the tracks so once you get into a nice making sure they're all nice and flat leave them alone until they set so don't go turn them into a box or anything like that okay now we're on to step three now we're on step three we've got our main chassis piece okay um we're putting on springs leaf springs putting our gearbox um we've got some rear suspension pieces here We've got a, a rear panel section there. Um, it gives us some more detail on that. Okay, uh, hold on. Is this an, an op these are an option? It's an optional piece. Right, where does the option begin? All right. We can go with either this type of suspension here. Okay, with the big springs, or we can have them off. Okay, and have 
a, a different uh, system of springage. Okay, this one seems to be a lot more in, in you know, a lot more involved in it. And there's the easy option there. So which one will I go for? Do you know what? I'm going to go for the hard one. <laughs> I'm going to go for the, all the extra little bits and pieces. I am, yeah. I'm going to go for all the extra little bits and pieces on that one. And on this one here, this little section, second diagram, just gives you a, sort of a more correct positioning of how they will look when they're on. Okay. That's all that is. So we've got all these little bits and pieces to put on here and that. So it's not actually that much. We've got our two suspension pieces. You know, these two pieces here, A40 and A41. We've got um, this piece here, okay, one at either side, an A18 at this side and A14 at the opposite side. And we're going to go for this configuration of um, bits and pieces, okay, and they're going to be, looks okay, doesn't look too complicated, does it? We'll go ahead with that one. We'll go ahead with the, with, the, with the hard one rather than going for the uh, the easy option with just a couple of pieces. So we'll be going for this one here. Okay, so when I get all that done, I'll get back to you and we'll have a look at that. Okay. And hey, we're after getting it done. We're after getting that section three done. Okay. I've got the uh, leaf springs done. We've got the gearbox. That's what it is. I don't know. It's the gearbox or the clutch or some part of it. Anyway, all right. We've got these two um, fiddly bobs there. They're on. We got the um, doohickey on either side there. We did go for the uh, th the more parts on rather than just a, a plain piece stuck in. I thought that would look nicer. And I was right, it does look nicer, you'll see it now in a second, I thought it was much, it's much, I'm glad I went down that road, okay, putting on the, uh, the extra little bits and pieces, rather than going for the short one, okay, and the tail piece there, which was just, just two pieces, so, start to the front, right, there's our leaf springs on, okay, they're quite nice, our gearbox, that all kind of fitted in nice and neatly there, Okay, a little bit of clean up. We'll see, does it need a bit of clean up? Because the spine is going to clean it up and then you're going to cover it over. So we'll see. I'll clean off the sides anyway, they definitely need to be cleaned off. The two little pieces here, either side there. Um, I think the uh, the drive, the main drive, then to the, uh, the, the, uh, the drive sprocket, the axle, there we go, the axle will, will fit into there okay and there's that back piece okay as you can see it's rather nice okay rather than just having a similar piece just to this center piece okay so you've got that and this little bit of extra stuff it looks nice it looks nicer I must admit it does look nicer it's nice that it gave you the option to go with the fancy bits okay and there's our back piece Okay, so there's number three. Okay, building piece number three. Right, build piece number four. Where have we got? We seem to have just a bit of assembly, really, all the little bits and pieces that we've made. Okay, we're putting on the, um, the radiator front. We're sticking down our engine. Okay. We're putting in the exhaust pipe. You know, first of our new pieces for this one. We're putting in our exhaust pipe and there's a little tip there on the exhaust pipe. Um Yeah, we're we're fitting here. We're fitting our bogies, okay, they sit on either side there. There's a little pole in the centre. There's our drive that goes on for the uh, drive sprocket, yeah, and that fits up into those. Um, our steering section sits up into the bottom of the leaf springs 
connected up there, drive shaft connected up there to the engine more than likely, and the um, steering mechanism there. And, and that'll be it then. Okay, so we've got our bogies, we have our main drive shaft with the uh, axle and thingy majiggies there. Uh, we'll have our engine fitted, we have a drive shaft onto the front because obviously you've got drive on the front and the rear and onto the main drive. And we've got uh, our steering mechanism or dampener or whatever the hell that's called. Very technical, aren't I? Very, very technical indeed. Oh yeah, we've got this little shaft and our exhaust pipe as well. So I get all those done and we look at that and then we can mark off number four. Right, so here we are back again, and we've done step four. Okay, I'm going to have to put on the engine, all the other little bits and pieces, the radiator, um, fitting the front axle with the steering thing and the drive shaft, the main drive axle there, for, and axle and drive for the, the tracks, fit the two bogies, the centre piece and the exhaust. So we'll have a look at them. Okay. All together. And there we go. That's what we end up with. Isn't that a pretty piece? A beautiful, beautiful little piece of engineering. A bit of plastic gorgeousness. The only way to describe it, okay? It really is. It's, it's, it's very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Um, just makes me think that the um, the painting of this is go definitely going to be fun. Um, this will definitely have to be painted. There's another couple of pieces in step five to do, to go onto this. Um, it'll definitely have to be painted as a separate piece before the uh, you know all the bits, bits and pieces go together for a final finish. I think they'll be judging by going through the instructions and things. There'll be three main blocks of uh, painting pieces. There'll be this. There'll be the say the main body of the vehicle. And then there'll be the uh, the uh, the shooty things that'll be done as a separate block as well, and then assemble it all together. I try not to sort of have too many things to assemble after painting because um, when you glue them together, it can you can it, glue can sort of be seen through the paint and things. It'll take paint off. White marks if you're using PA. Um, Soup glue, little things like that. Okay, so there we go. Go anyway. We've step four done. Okay, that's still a little bit, uh, bit soft. Let the uh, let the glue harden. So you know, it takes it takes an old day or two for it to kind of fully go off. So I'm going to leave it at that for this video. Uh, in the next video we get step five done minus the tracks I won't be putting on the tracks at this point in time because I want to be able to get in around for painting um, same with the wheels I want to be able to get in around the wheels for painting so I won't be putting the wheels on or the tracks but I do have to decide between the um, the front of it whatever is going on the very very front there's the big roller thing which I do not know what it is okay and we've got um, a winch system now, is the, is the roller a counterweight? I don't know. To be honest with you, I just do not know, okay? So, obviously, so by me asking the question like that, someone's going to put it into the uh, little box below. So, please do. Let me know what that roller is in the front, okay? That's that piece there, okay? They have a show and fitted to this one here. There we go, that's what it is, right? It's that roller one. So, it's either going to be the roller one or the one with the... Um, with the tow with the tow chain rope thingy majiggy. I don't know what. I have seen them out in the Lebanon. Um the uh the SLA, the South Lebanese Army or the D F F as we used to call them, the Israeli backed militia in, in South Lebanon. They used to have these obviously the Israelis gave them to them when they were finished with them and they used them on then for another couple of years. And the one I did see, right, had these yoke in the front of it actually I saw two 
and they both had that yoke on the front. Now these weren't the ones with the anti-aircraft guns, they were just used um, ordinary personnel carrier ones. Um, they had that horrible weird kind of a, a funny green kind of a colour. Sinai green or something, Sinai grey. Horrible bloody colour to be quite honest with you. This is going to be in the desert yellow because it's going to be from the, uh, the Six Day War thing. So, um, until I know exactly what each one that one is, okay, I'll decide then. So what I might do is I might actually, might actually make them both up and see which is the nicest and go that way, which looks nicer, okay. And if it goes to a case of which looks nicer, I think the uh, the toe chain one looks nicer. And as long as we're not using the same pieces, that we can actually make both up. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any duplicate pieces in them. Yeah, there's no duplicate pieces in them. So I might make both of them up and we'll have a look at them and we'll see which one we'll go for. Um, but if there's anybody out there that knows exactly what this big drum on the front is, is it a counterweight or is it, uh, or is it fuel? Could be anything. I just don't know. I just do not know. Okay, so if anybody out there knows what that is, let me know. And we we'll know that for the next time. A few other little bits and pieces. So for the next video, we have plenty more to do. That's even before we go into the cab. So I'll leave it like I said for this video. We'll catch you the next time with more updates on the uh, Dragon IDF M3 with 20mm uh, anti-aircraft shooty things. So until then, stay safe, enjoy your modelling and like I always say, out there buy a kit, build it and enjoy it because that's the main thing, enjoyment. That's what it's for, it's there to pass time and to enjoy doing it. Okay, see you in the next one, let's stay safe. Thank you.